Today we explore a vintage film restoration providing a fascinating look at equipment involved in underground electrical power transmission, high voltage power management, and innovative electrical distribution technology. It was originally produced by RTE Incorporated of Wisconsin, a world leader in power distribution technologies. This full-color film restoration runs about 18 minutes. A boon to mankind, but a blight, too. For many years, every wire was a symbol of the eagerness of Americans for the miracles of electricity, and evidence of the struggle of electric utility companies to respond. As they built their systems, utility engineers had no alternative to such festoons of overhead wires. Men working close to danger, in unnatural places, and the high cost of installation and maintenance. After all, they had to design with the equipment available. But meanwhile, in Waukesha, Wisconsin, a group of engineers had read the future, foreseen the problem, and were designing the solution. And by 1959, they were able to announce the underground revolution. Clear horizons ahead, the announcement promised. And ever since, step by step, the revolution has been happening. A ground level pad type transformer, a step toward aesthetics with economy of maintenance. Then a load break terminator, a giant step toward safety and economy a dead front transformer. They were coming close to the ultimate in safety, economy, and aesthetics. Then another, a better transformer, submersible, with underground switching, another step. A direct buried transformer. Finally, the transformer could be totally out of sight, and the engineers haven't stopped. Progress, in a mere 15 years, and it's still going on. Just last week, in the same Waukesha conference room, the same engineers met, as they do every week, to check progress toward the next step in the underground revolution. And their objective now is the same as it was when they started the revolution. Discover. Since the discovery of the basic ground level transformer, demands on RTE's discovery facilities have pyramided because of the amazing growth of the electric utility companies they serve. Cornfields have become communities, increasing power demand by a factor of thousands. Deserts have become centers of industry, calling for untold thousands of miles of transmission lines. Suburbs have demanded a whole new concept of energy delivery. Get rid of those festoons of wire. Restore the aesthetics of a more natural environment. Cities, expanding upward, have become neighborhoods of vertical villages, demanding power for thousands of people a quarter of a mile up in the air. And through all this growth, the electric utility companies have increased their concern for safety, economy, and the aesthetics of the environment. Many manufacturers have strived to serve this growth, some trying to cope with all the problems at once, some isolating a single aspect of the total problem and applying discovery techniques with special, concentrated expertise. RTE selected the specialist role, concentrated on distribution and termination. And here's what these men are contributing.
From the initial ground level distribution transformer, discovered by RTE and the first of its type the world had ever seen, the Waukesha engineers have continued to pioneer improvements. Today, they serve utility engineers better than any other, capable of hiding unobtrusively in the shrubbery. Storm safe, low maintenance, low downtime, no pole climbing, and a dead front that provides sensible safety for linemen and the community too. The same engineers continue to pioneer another discovery, the submersible transformer capable of withstanding flooding year after year. Theirs was the first. And today, in the RTE plant, they are still producing the best. As a result, utility engineers can plan for the ultimate in aesthetics without any sacrifice of safety or maintenance costs. In RTE's research laboratory, the first load brake terminators ever made are still on accelerated test. How long will they last? We don't know yet because none has failed, even though at their rate of acceleration, they have been on test for hundreds of years. That's one reason the RTE design is now the standard of the industry, with eight other companies producing them under RTE patent. But the engineers who discovered the principle have gone on to develop a full line from 8 kV to 35 kV still in the lead, still pioneering. For more effective distribution, RTE developed flexible switching facilities, load brake switching centers with clusters of load brake bushings, two-way, three-way, four-way, 15 kV, 25 kV, 35 kV, Whatever a utility engineer may need for convenient sectionalizing and isolation with a minimum of downtime for switching operations. As demand increases for underground distribution systems, RTE stays ahead with a broad line of operating components and accessories. Grounded protective caps. Standoff insulators. Storage bushings portable feed-through devices, grounding elbows, lightning arresters. In fact, everything necessary to operate at 15 through 35,000 volts. The most complete line of load brake components for distribution engineers. As a result, the company now represents a unique combination of field experience, research, and highly specialized manufacturing facilities. Nearly a hundred field representatives are stationed permanently throughout the nation to work with the utility companies, foreseeing problems, helping to prevent them, and helping solve them if they happen. Backing up the field representatives are product specialists, ready to travel on short notice to wherever underground engineers are facing the new problems of the revolution. And their confidence comes from the knowledge that behind them is the solid dependability of a manufacturing facility that protects the integrity of everything the discoverers produce. Take termination equipment, for example. The basic raw material is EPDM rubber, the best material known for its combination of dielectric properties and its resistance to sunlight, weather, and moisture. But the shielding needs carbon for semiconducting properties, and carbon is a contaminant. So master batches of semiconductive rubber are imported from another facility to protect this plant's clean environment. But before it's used, it gets a thorough testing by RTE specialists who know a great deal about the chemistry of rubber. Natural pure TransLink clay and aluminum silicate is used as an insulating filler. 
And the quality control people don't take any chances with this material either. Small quantities of other special materials, measured to within one-tenth of an ounce, are added to each batch to obtain the special characteristics every RTE terminator must have. Initial mixing is done in the machine standard in the industry wherever rubber must be made to precise formulations, the Banbury mixer. RTE material gets a final blending on a roller mill. Now the formulation is complete. A special rubber, specially compounded for the rigorous life of an electrical terminator. But again, perfection is not taken for granted. A sample from the rubber mill gets four careful tests before any batch is permitted to proceed further in the manufacturing process. A test for viscosity. A test for scorch temperature. A test for torque strength. And a test for cure rate. If the sample passes all four between these narrow tolerances, the batch may go on into production. To assure the purity RTE products must have, the uncured, specially blended rubber is forced through a 40 mesh screen to make sure no foreign materials have been introduced during the mixing. And it emerges as precisely measured charges for the molding presses. Nearby in the plant, powerful hydraulic pumps generate pressure for banks of presses that will mold the charges into parts for load brake terminators. Sometimes five separate press operations are required for a single part as the rubber is molded and cured into a precise shape. Pressure up to 4,000 pounds per square inch. Temperature controlled to within half a degree. Timing controlled to within one-tenth of a minute. These are a few of the controls over quality in the RTE molding process. And every part is personally inspected by the operator who made it. He now has a personal responsibility to the customer. Skilled hands use high-speed grinding wheels to trim the part to its clean lines and precise configuration. Washing makes sure no semiconducting dust remains to contaminate the part. And every finished part gets a series of final inspections. First, a visual inspection. And then, an electrical inspection. No product leaves this plant without both. In this specially built chamber, every terminator individually must pass stringent high potential and corona tests to protect RTE's deserved reputation for reliability in service. A careful sampling of every part must perform mechanically according to design specifications before it can be released. In addition to the design and discovery achievements of the RTE engineers, it's this kind of careful manufacture and unyielding quality control that has made the products of these men and women the standard of the industry. It's why engineers look to RTE when they face the really tough problems of distribution. For instance, RTE has pioneered progress from 15, then 25, and now 35 KV systems with greater safety and economy. Going up in voltage no longer means a proportionate increase in size and cost. RTE switching centers are engineered for unique small size compactness. The 25 KV system has common operating techniques with the 15 and the new 35 kV system shares the same techniques with the 25 and 15 kV. Such consistency offers engineers new economies in system designs at higher voltages. Fewer substations, smaller size, and no new operating techniques to be learned through costly hours of training time. Dead front switching at 35 kV 
until recently thought impossible by industry leaders, now is a proven reality. The new 35 kV system is fully rated at 150 kV BIL, 200 ampere load break, considered so safe it is here installed in a school ground. And here is another breakthrough. A 600 amp sectionalizing center in a packaged unit. Designed with such simplicity, it provides a space saving ratio of more than five to one over conventional systems and surprising dollar savings too. This compact box has a 600 amp three phase feeder looped through with five 200 amp three phase fused taps. And there's real safety from a well-grounded visible brake operated by standard 15 kV accessories. Break the 600 amp circuit. Test the circuit. Plug in the grounding elbow. Insert the visible brake tool. And the circuit can be opened with the ease and safety of hot stick operations. And the back of the connector provides a fully rated 15 kV, 200 amp load brake tap to be used while the equipment is being maintained. As American communities continue to grow vertically and horizontally, as industry continues to intensify its efforts to produce new and better goods, the nation's electric utility companies will continue to face new challenges. High voltage technology must respond, and the men in Waukesha are already facing the challenges of the future. Discovering the devices for handling even higher voltage, even higher currents, more safely, more economically, more aesthetically. They are studying the opportunities for automatic switching and sectionalizing from a fresh point of view. They refuse to adapt equipment designed for lower voltages into a system that grows even larger and more cumbersome with every increase in voltage. Their credo is a fresh approach to a new problem. These men foresee that eventually every function of the overhead and ground level system must be duplicated underground. That's one of the problems of the future. And they're working on the solution now. Imagine an automated underground switching station, miniaturized, replacing the space consuming ground level installations we know today and discover how to make it. Imagine even a disposable transformer that need never be dug up. Discover the design and find out how to make it. The company that already has most to offer in distribution and termination devices will soon have even more. Because when something new is needed for safer, more economical and more aesthetic power distribution, it's safe to assume that RTE is probably working on it. And the chances are they'll have it for you soon.